let's see the new installation of stable diffusion I'm gonna do from the beginning unzip the brother version when it finishes you will have a blender.exe file available you just have to click it to open this file you can also right click and drag to create a shortcut in this case I, I won't double click it it's fine I'm gonna put it oh let me choose my settings I'm gonna put it aside so I can open the console panel here now install the add-on zero point fifty one enable it you can go to the image editor and on the end panel you're gonna find it here you can see that lots of things missing what you can do is first set a path for the virtual environment in my case I'm gonna use this one AI and you can try create SD VM <coughs> sorry it's gonna throw an error because you must install VM first in my case I just installed blender I don't have VM installed in the blender I'm using so I click on it here it's gonna <coughs> show the process you can see it is installing and this install is done I can go to the create SD VM and you can see here it created and stopped being read I can press the install SD on VM it's gonna take a while but you can see here there is something wrong it says that we don't have the git installed <clears throat> so we can we must install git to do that let me close this I'm gonna cancel the installation and you can press check git to to see if you have it installed but as you see it says you don't have it and here this information in this case it's in portuguese my windows language it says that it it was not found so if you have something complaining that it's not found you can go to the download git button then you are going to the page to download the installation that let's install it so I'm gonna save my computer and it downloaded now we're going to install it you can install using default options you don't need to change anything <coughs> okay okay and wait for it to finish let me close the other Oh no, this I, I don't have to close. It's the it's the Blender console panel. Console. 
so you don't have to view the release finish now you can press the check git and it stays saying that it's not installed it can't find it. what you need to do you need to close blender you don't have to save and open blender again so it identifies that you've installed the git let me open the console panel again and let's go back to the image editor and let's check again now you can see that it tells you the version of git that it has so you know for sure that you have git installed and blender recognizes it so you can now go to the install sd on vm or else you are going to have the same trouble the same problem that i had that it showed a message in red here saying that it couldn't find git or something now this part is going to take a while let's wait you can see now that it shows this message you can close this window now it means you can really close this window now because it installed everything that is needed to use the basic the basis of stable diffusion which means the text and the image to image text to image and image to image so I close that window and I can start testing maybe why this prompt is I cannot click on it it's like that because you need to import a model so you go to this bottom part and you have if you don't have the model you can download it from the official site hugging face or you can get on the store the same place that you got this add-on you have the model over there for easier for the users so you can import the model go to where you stored the files it's gonna be a file ckpt 4 gigabytes import it wait it's gonna take a little bit because it's a big file interesting mine was very fast okay so now you can run prompt um, let me try something interesting Blend. Blender users are the best. Let's see what it's gonna do. It finished. I see a crazy image okay so you can see here the result of it let me get an, a, a better one one I like to use is wood with moss you have a better picture to, to test. Each prompt you run, it's gonna create another folder that you can select the image. So text to image, we can run image to image. We can use uh, the image that we already have here and write some prompts like dark back round. And we can run all of this 
just making the simple simplest installation of standard stem stable diffusion. This simple installation is creating the VM, starting stable diffusion on VM and loading the model. See that it changed. It's working. It's a terrible example that I did, but it works. You can try it better. Let me change again to the text one. And since you have already an uh, image, you can do upscale it. You can do the upscale preview. Doing this, it's going to increase the image four times its original size, but it won't save. The upscale preview won't save the file. You just have the temporary file on the same folder as the add on. But if you want to upscale and save the file, you can see here you just have one image. If you click upscale, it's going to create the image based on the image you already have here and it's going to upscale it. So, upscale. It saves the file in the same folder that the image that you are using. Upscale preview, you, it's not going to save, but it upscale anything you have on the image editor. So let's go to other functions. You have this create 3D mesh. To use this function, you have to install Midas. To do that, you go here to create Midas VM. You can press it. It created the Midas VM. Now you can install the pack 2D to 3D. It's going to install everything necessary to make this create 3D mesh to run. So you can hear, you can see that it is installing those packages. Usually it's much faster than the stable diffusion one. And you also receive the message, you can close this window now. So let's do it. But you can't use the, the tool yet because you need to import the 2D to 3D model. Click here and you have to go to the place that you downloaded the model. You, you also find this file on the same page you, you got the add-on. It's the, this file that ends with PT, PT extension. Let's load it. It will take a little bit. It's also a big file. And you can see here it's done. Now we can get the 3D view. Let's go to the 3D viewport. Let me delete the cube. We are not going to use it. And with this image selected in the image editor, we can press the 3D from 2D. So it's going to create a 3D mesh based on this image on the image editor. And it's going to show on the 3D view. And here it is, but it looks weird. It doesn't have the, the texture. You can press here on viewport material and it's going to show the material, the basic material. It's also not the best image to use as an example, but you can try any other you have. Okay, we saw the stable diffusion, the basic one the 3D to 2D to 3D mesh and we also have the inpaint function it's not enabled it's not enabled because you have to import the inpaint model 
It's also another file that you have on the site that you can download. If you go there, you're going to find this in paint model dot 1.4. Having this file on your computer, it's about 4 gigabytes of size. You can press import in paint model, go to the place where you have the model and load it. And it's going to do everything needed to make in paint to work. And you can see that it finished the import of the data. Here you can see it's no longer red and the in paint button is available to use. Let's try something. To use the in paint, you go obviously to the in paint option, paint mask, choose where you want to replace with something else, and put a prompt. In my case, I'm going to try rocks with moss and run prompt. You can see here it replaced the image with something else, not exactly what I've written, but you can see it's something else. You can see the original picture going to the text because it was the image that I used was the one created with the text to image. It's the original one and in the in paint you can see the changed picture. Now we covered almost everything that we have in the SAB Stable Diffusion, but there is one thing left that is the tiling option. To use the tiling option, you can go to this part and you have an image on the image editor. You press tile image and you see there is an error no module name it pure. This problem happens because at this moment to use this tiling function you must have the module pill installed on Blender. To do that you can press the install pill button. Let's press it and you can see it's gonna install it here. And now we can try again tile the image and now it works. You can see the image changed a little bit you can preview the tiling pressing preview and you can see how is the result you can change the margin and tile the image again and preview to see how you can tweak to better suit your need and every test you do every tile you do it's going to be saved in here so you can see which one is best for you and use it that cover basically all the add-on. You can use it to improve your workflow. I plan to create tutorials on the future showing a nice tutorial, a nice workflow to use. And for now that's it. That's it. I would like to thank a lot for our patrons that support us a lot and the guys that donate to the Adam. Thanks a lot and see you next time.